my fifth graders, my name is Miss Planer and I'm the band director here at the middle school. I'm here to share some information about both band and choir with you. You can do both of these groups if you decide to. Middle school is the time to try new things and both band and choir are really fun activities and classes that you can do during the school day. You can be in both band and choir or you can do band or just choir. You get to choose. Uh, those classes are at 1043 during the school day. In addition to that time, you also get a 20-minute lesson one time per week during Allied Arts or during your WIN class, and I'll explain more what that means in a minute. There's nothing after school. All the teaching and learning happenings during the school day, the only exception is that we get to have some really fun concerts. For band, we have three concerts, and for choir, you have two different concerts that are during the evening, and your families will want to come and watch you, and that's a really fun activity for them um, in the evening. Here is a sample schedule of what it looks like to be a sixth grader at the middle school. So you can see at the top, our, our school starts at 810, and the first class of the day is win class or advisory. And so if you have a 20 minute band lesson with me, um, some of those lessons will take place during that win class right away in the morning. If you decide you want to play trumpet, you'll come down to the band room during that class for 20 minutes with some other trumpet players. If you decide you want to play flutes, you'll come down with some other flute players. And that's when I'll teach you the things that are instrument specific. So how to play this note on your flute or how to play a G on your trumpet. Then after win or advisory, everybody goes to their first core class. And you can see there's core one, core two, core three, core four. Those core classes are language arts, math, science, and social studies. After your first two core classes, right in the middle of the day, we get to have full band and full choir class. And those are from 1043 to 1123 every day. If you decide to do both band and choir, then what happens is you'll come to band one day and then you'll go to choir the next day. We flip flop days and it makes it really easy to do both classes. After band and choir, you get to go to lunch and if you haven't heard this yet, Lunch is fantastic at the middle school. I know a lot of current sixth graders sometimes even eat pizza every day because they love it so much. Then after lunch, you go to core three, core four, and at the end of the day, your very last class is called Allied Arts. You might think of this kind of like your specialist classes that you currently have at your elementary school. So music, art, FIAD, those are some of the Allied Arts classes. But now in sixth grade, you also get to have facts family and consumer science, where you get to do cooking and sewing. You also get industrial tech, where you get to work with wood and do some other fun projects. And we also will have health class and world cultures. Your other lesson, or some of you will have a lesson for band instruments, um, a 20 minute lesson during Allied Arts class. That's just once a week for 20 minutes. Again, you come down, I teach you how to play the clarinet or whatever your instrument is. Middle school is the time to try new things. There are so many cool activities that you can do in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Some of those are before school, some of those are after school. Band and choir are two of those really great activities, and they take place during the school day. This is the time in 6th grade to try out singing or learning an instrument. And Mr. Lath and I encourage students to stick it out for the whole year, then you get the full benefit of what it's really like to be in band or choir. But sometimes there are situations where a student decides, oh, after this first concert in December, band or choir is not for me. I need to talk to Ms. Planer or Mr. Leith, and then we can, we can help you with the schedule change that way. If you decide to rent an instrument from one of our local music stores, it's really easy to return it if you decide that band is not for you. Band and choir are fun and good for you. There's a lot of research that shows students who participate in music do better in other areas of school which is great, but that's not why you should choose band or choir. Uh, both band and choir have all the sixth grade students together that are in those classes. So you'll notice that next year in sixth grade, you're in teams, and you might not get to see some of your friends in your math class or your science class if they're on another team. But if your friends are also in band or choir, guess what? You'll get to see them every day or every other day when you come to band or choir class. We also do some really fun extra things throughout the school year or during the summer. Uh, if you decide you want to try marching band, which is really fun, we always take a trip to Valley Fair. And that's a, a trip you get to go on with all your friends and probably not your parents. Uh, also, if you stick with band and choir through high school, they take some really big trips. 
I know the high school band and choir, they've done things like travel to Hawaii. They've gone to Europe. They were planning to go to Disneyland a few years ago. So those are some really awesome opportunities that you have by joining band and choir. And it's also a great opportunity to make new friends in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. How do you sign up for band or choir? For band, there's a few different steps. Uh, we're going to have a band family and parents night on Monday, April 4th at 7 p.m. That'll be here in the middle school. I will share information um, about that meeting with your families via email uh, in a few weeks. I will also visit all your elementary schools in March and I get to come around with Ekrov Music and help you try out instrument mouthpieces so you can figure out if there's an instrument that you like the best. Every fifth grader will get to learn and try out some of those band instruments. Choir students get to sign up for choir with their fifth grade teacher and Mr. Leif will share some information with that as we get closer to the end of the school year. Here's what band looks like. It's just some fun photos from the last couple years, different things we got to do, different things you can look forward to if you decide to join band and choir. Thank you so much for watching my video. I am very excited to meet all of you guys when I come over to your classrooms and help you try out instrument mouthpieces in the next week or two. And then I will share out something called an instrument exploration form. And that's a Google form. And I'll, I'll share that via Schoology. Your teachers will have it as well. That'll be due on April 1st. And then I'll also have a band registration form. And your parents will probably want to help you fill that out. That'll be due on April 15th. And uh, your parents and families can come to a band information night on Monday, April 4th. That will be here at the middle school at 7 p.m. So let me know if you have any other questions. You can send me an email or uh, your family can give me a call here on my school phone. You can see that information on the screen below. Thank you.